G'day everybody. Well, uh, we're not actually out in the man cave today. Uh, unfortunately, it's actually really messy out there. Um, basically, we're going through a bit of a uh, sort out and a clean up out there. And we're also going to be uh, moving the whole workbench over to the window, so uh, I can't really get out there and do much uh, in terms of videos, but for now, just figured we'd do a special little video on my recently acquired Sylvania B2224 Mercury Vapor Streetlight. Oh, I did actually have a video uh, posted a while ago of the one that used to be running out in the street before they sadly replaced it with a low wattage electronically ballasted uh, fluorescent light. Um, and let's just say since I was a kid, about eight years old, I've actually been wanting one of these because I always used to love watching that light warm up outside my window and just basically wait for the day when they'd change it because I knew it was, it, it was going to happen, really. Um, but sadly, it was at school a day they changed it, so I missed out. But uh, I put pictures up a while ago on, on our lightinggallery.net, which is another forum I'm part of. There will be lots of links in the description to that, of a, um, one of the last ones that's left. And just saying how I've been after one, and it turns out somebody just put a comment saying, I've got one you can have. A uh, bloke down in Tasmania very kindly went to the effort of uh, sending me one, complete with the original carton that came in as well. That's what it, what it probably would have left the factory in. It's um, even got the uh, the light throw pattern and the charts on it showing how uh, high up you can mount it and all sorts of other stuff. But um, yeah, this is uh, just figure we do a bit of a uh, look around on it, how these are set up. Uh, since there aren't really any decent videos on these street lamps, uh, there are a few of them running, but they're not very detailed, so. Basically, in terms of uh, getting the diffuser off the front, it's very easy. You've got a uh, single bolt here, and then it's just a twist lock, and take it off. It's got a little wire actually holding it on to, um, basically, for when it's mounted up on a uh, spigot on, so on a power line cross arm or something, the thing won't fall off while you're trying to uh, work on it. Even the other uh, polypropylene top casing is held on the same way. But I've uh, bypassed the ballast and uh, just stuck a 11 watt CFL in it just to uh, give you a bit of an idea on how well it lights up. It's just generic Phillips thing. But um, it works for the time being. It would make an awesome night light. But um, until I can get my hands on an 80 watt mercury vapor bulb for it, probably be running it like that. But uh, I've got a few ideas on where I can get one. But that just goes on like so. It's even got a gasket on it, which... Uh, basically stops filling up with dead insects and water and stuff. That's a uh, bulb support. I don't know if it's asbestos. I hope it's not, but it's um, it was 1990s. This thing was made in, so it's probably not. But yeah, it's M80, so Mercury 80 Watt. D being type D photo cell, which I don't have, and I don't know where I'll get one from. In 1996, it was installed. But it didn't have a photo cell originally because it was part of a... um. Basically a circuit, a whole bunch of these lights were just basically operated off the one uh, photo cell and that turned all of the lights off at once sort of thing. So, um, yeah, basically I don't have one, but uh, that doesn't matter too much. But it's in very good condition. I mean, there's very little rust on the outside of the uh, casing. It's a um, little bit of a crack on the diffuser, but that doesn't matter too much. And it's very, very easy to get apart. That's what I like so much about Sylvania's lamps. You can literally just undo the two bolts and the top cover will come off for servicing. But that's it there, it's polypropylene. Again, more uh, safety straps to keep the thing together while you're working on it. There's your spigot bolts there. Basically, spigot goes in there and you do these two down, tighten them up, and that holds the lamp onto the post. You got your photo cell socket there. There's your main um, terminal blocks. That's just my little bodge job for the moment, so I can just run it off the CFL, or run the CFL off of it without the ballast. But uh, I can easily wire that back up when I get a decent lamp for it. But there's your ballast there, made in Australia. This whole unit is made in Australia, by the way, made down in uh, New South Wales. <laughs> if I remove the uh, PF correction cap, you can see there's the uh, Sylvania factory address. I believe they're now making LEDs there, unfortunately. These things are long since dead, but 
they do still offer replacement bulbs because I know the Sylvania Nostalgia series use the same um, diffuser which the Nostalgia is basically a B2223 which is the older version of this with a um, basically it's just got a big round disc on the base of the, uh, the diffuser acting as a uh, basically like one of the old style uh, post top lanterns I'll stick the cover back on if I can it's not advisable to have things like this on your beds by the way but since I don't have any other places to do this I'll uh, just do it here if you haven't got it together it won't do up correctly but that's basically it I'll go over to my uh, Basically my only power source, I have no other sockets in my room so I'm pain in the ass. but I've just got this for now. There are some my insulators which I've all got joined together. Just quickly I'll uh, plug it in, put some power to it. That gives you a bit of an idea of the, uh, the light throw from this. It's a very effective type of diffuser. As you can see it's quite bright even just for the little 11 watt CFL. These were a very, very effective lamp in their day for their, uh, the wattage. I mean, like, compared to the modern lamps, which are, like, 20 watts or something, but they don't last as long as these. These have been around since the 80s. But, uh, it's pretty good in terms of its efficiency and its, uh, lumen output. The diffuser definitely helps throw the, the light out. And, yeah. I could leave it like this as just a uh, plug-in type lamp, could even bolt it up on the wall and have it as a uh, just a bit of a night light sort of thing, but uh, it's a bit bright for a night light, but uh, I could use it as a reading light or something. But uh, yeah, figured I'd uh, just quickly show that off because you don't usually get to see these types of things. And yeah, it's quite big as well. I mean, there's my hand. It's a lot bigger than I first thought it would be. But yeah, it's very, very small compared to, say, the Sylvania Roadster, which you can, I've actually seen pictures. You can sit these inside the uh, reflector cab or lantern cabinet of a Sylvania Roadster, which are our main... They're a 150-watt high-pressure sodium. And they're the, uh, the, basically the next step up from these. But uh, that's a Sylvania B2224. Um, mercury vapor street light and even yard lights as well they sold them for that but um, yeah just figured I'd uh, show that one and uh, thanks for watching I've kind of run out of things to say on it really